Welcome back to All Things Acura. I'm Justin, and I thought it would be a good video just to dive into all the different packages, what you get in all those different packages. Um, we're gonna break it down through all of them. I'm gonna try to go through this as uh, timely as possible, um, but there's a lot of equipment and a lot of stuff that you can get on the Acura RDX. Now keep in mind, if you're looking at a 22 or a 23, this information is going to be very similar. Now, I did include some pricing with some of these packages because I thought it would be helpful to know, okay, how much more is this package over this package and what am I getting? I'm going to use this model lineup guide to help go through all the different packages. And in this model lineup guide, as you see, the packages are all broken down there. Um, we have... The left side of the screen is everything that's standard, and it's what they call the premium package, and that's your first package that's available on the RDX. So there's no such thing as really a base car um, in the Acura lineup because it is a luxury brand. They really start out with some really nice equipment, so there's no base, it's called a premium. Now the reason why I want to point that out is because some brands, the premium is actually one of the top trims, right? So in our in the Acura lineup, the premium package is their entry level car. We're gonna go through all the equipment on there so you're clear what comes standard on the RDX. And then next package is a technology package and we're gonna dive into what you get. And this is gonna stack on top of what's standard and I'll point out some of all the differences there. The third package that's available on the RDX is the RDX with the A-Spec package and that combines all that standard equipment with the te technology package and then the A-Spec package, and we'll dive into all the equipment that comes in there. Fourth package that's available on the RDX is the Advanced package, and the Advanced package is kind of like the top of the line as far as equipment. This is everything you can get on the RDX, except the one new package that they did come out with, and this is uh, 22 and above, is the Advanced package with the, the A-Spec package. And as we'll talk about with the A-Spec package, A-Spec package is a little bit more of just a trim or appearance package, more so than it is equipment. But there are a couple extra features you get along with that. So let's dive right into all the equipment that's available on the RDX. So the first package is the premium package, and I already mentioned that. The MSRP on that, as you look online, is 44350 and this could change, is subject to change at any time, but this is as of current, as of right now in 24. And I don't foresee these prices changing till we reach the 25 model, which isn't too far away. So on the left-hand side, you see the MSRP 44,350. That is plus destination and handling for a total MSRP of $46,300 with that color upcharge included because all but two colors have the color upcharge uh, and that is for the uh, pearl paint. So at the very end of this video, I'll go through the colors that are available on the RDX interior exterior combinations and let you know which ones are have that color upcharge, which is most of them, and the ones that don't. This pricing is similar, to, obviously, if you go to Acura.com and you build out an RDX, you can see that total of the MSRP there. The thing to keep in mind from past years of the RDX is all-wheel drive is now standard. So the, all the RDX used to start off at a lower, much lower MSRP, and part of that was due because they came in both a front-wheel drive and an all-wheel drive version. For 2024 now, and I believe that changed back in 23 or 22. Now I'm, I'm losing track there uh, for when that changed. But they went to only offering it in an all-wheel drive. Start off with the powertrain. All RDXs come with the exact same powertrain. So no matter where you go through the lineup, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get Acura's 2-liter, 16-valve, dual overhead cam, VTEC, turbocharged four-cylinder, direct injection. Uh, all of them have the same exact 272 horsepower at 280 pound, foot pounds of torque. That's combined with Acura's 10 speed automatic transmission. This is not a CVT transmission, this is a 10 speed regular automatic transmission, uh, which has been awesome since they've come out with it. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to drive one of these or any car with their 10 speed transmission, it is really nice. Shifts awesome. It, it hits all the right notes. It doesn't search for gears very often. It, I mean, it's just really a good transmission. 
and all the RDXs come standard with sequential port, sequential sport shift paddle shifters. And that's on the back of the steering wheel. Those are mounted where you can actually manually shift up and down through the gears with those paddle shifters, which is nice because that comes standard on all RDXs. And then lastly, which I talked about just a minute ago, was that super handling all wheel drive. And the reason why I want to point it out real quick is because a lot of people don't realize this isn't the same all wheel drive system that you get on most of the Hondas or even other cars. Typically in this class this is Acura's signature torque vectoring super handling all wheel drive if you're not familiar with it you need to be this all wheel drive system is far superior to a lot of the all wheel drive systems out in the market there's some good marketing out there talking about all wheel drive systems this one's really good because it helps you not only on our um, you know uh, bad conditions but it also helps you on drive pavement and it really is an incredible all wheel drive system there's no i have to turn the all wheel drive on or off on this system there's no engagement in the high low there's none of that it does all the work for you and it does a really good job so i won't dive into it i don't want to make it about super handling all wheel drive but it is a really good system and please if you, if you care at all about that all wheel drive if it's important to you make sure you do some research on that it's a phenomenal system I'm going to go into some of the other equipment, other features. Uh, integrated Dynamic System, or IDS. That is a mode that's standard on all the RDXs, which allow you to change how you, the vehicle handles and performs based on the driving mode you put it in. They offer four different driving modes. They, they offer sm snow, comfort, normal, and sport. So there's four different driving modes that you can put in, and I'll talk a little bit about that in a minute. All the... Uh, RDXs come with out, I can't even say that word, amplitude reactive dampers, easy for me to say, not really. And those are just uh, a particular type of suspension damper that helps the car ride nicer. It's a, a two-stage damper. They have electric power steering, hill start accept, assist with electric parking brake and automatic brake hold. Now, brake holds are really cool little feature that not a lot of people know about. It's standard on the RDX. I won't dive into it much now. One other thing I want to point out is 19-inch wheels come standard on the RDX. This particular one in the premium package comes with the wheels you see here on the screen, which are a sparkle silver alloy wheel, and they're a painted silver alloy wheel. And they come with 235, 55, 19 performance all-season tires. That's standard on the RDX. This is a, a uh, touch of that integrated dynamic system. And you can see those four different modes, snow, comfort, normal, and sport. Hopefully that's what I said before. Uh, forgive me if I mix them up. Some of the other cars have some different modes. Those are the four that come on the all RDXs and that's standard equipment on them. Next is the exterior of the vehicle. We'll talk a little bit about some of the things that come on, again, standard on the RDX. We still stay on the standard equipment. Jewelide LED headlights incredibly important that these headlights are incredible they're awesome if you haven't had led headlights on a car before you, you need to drive one it's night and day versus regular halogen headlights far superior these are both high and low beam and that's what i'm point out a lot of cars have a low beam maybe led headlight and then a high beam something else um, and these are both led high and low beams they have auto on auto on off headlight wiper integration what that means is that when you turn on your wipers uh your headlights will automatically come on and that is actually a law i think in canada i'm not sure it's still a law here in the united states but if it's raining out you're supposed to have your lights on and that does it for you great feature just one of those little things to help you out auto high beam headlights so it has an auto setting where you can turn on the high beams and they'll turn off when there's a car coming and then they'll turn back on by themselves. That's standard. Again, we're going through all the standard. LED tail lights are standard. Big one, big feature here, panoramic moonroof. Yes, the panoramic moonroof, the large, large, full roof, sunroof is standard on all RDXs. And it is an incredible moonroof and for two reasons. One, it's large, it's big. Two, when you try one of these and you should get one of these cars and drive it, just don't take my word on what all this is about. Uh, open that thing up all the way and listen to the wind noise. They've done a phenomenal job of how quiet that sunroof is while it's open. Heated outside rear view mirrors on the car come standard. Capitalist fuel filler, that seems like a little thing, but it's so nice just to stick that in there and not have to untwist that gas cap, worry about how many clicks, what did I do with it, where did I put it. It's so nice. 
capless fuel filler, height adjustable power uh, rear tailgate. So the rear tailgate obviously is power and now it has a height adjustment so you can adjust how high it is based on how tall you are or if there's something in your garage that, that will possibly, it'll possibly hit, you can adjust that so it stops. Dual exhaust is standard on all the RDXs and smart key keyless entry. And it says front there on the screen because with the next package up, when we move into the technology package, it puts a smart entry on all the doors on the premium RDX. It's just on the front doors. So as we go in the interior, 12-way power seats with power lumbar support are standard on the RDX. Heated seats are standard on the RDX. Split 60-40 uh, rear seat back that folds down is standard. The uh, sport seats with leatherette trimmed interior. Now, looks like leather. It's not. It's leatherette. It's still a nice seat. The seat is the same. It's still a really nice seat. It's just leatherette trimmed instead of full leather. It does have a full leather wrap steering wheel. Still has the floating console with pass-through with a brushed aluminum door um, to cover the cup holders, which is nice. All come standard with dual zone automatic climate control with rear seat vents, tilt and telescopic steering wheel and steering wheel mounted radio controls. Now again, I'm going through all the standard equipment, so this is not stuff that you have to move up to different models to get keyless access system with personalized settings and that is driver one driver two linked to your memory settings and you can adjust a lot of different features such as your mirror your seats and different things in the car power windows with auto up and down again those are standard on the rdx home link with automatic dimming frameless rear view mirror and home link built in for your garage door opener that's standard active sound control and that's where the radio kicks in and helps you out with a little bit of sound control and multi-view rear camera with dynamic guidelines. And that means those guidelines that turn if you want them to as you back up so you can see where you're going. All right, audio system. They come standard with the Acura's premium audio system with nine speakers, true touchpad interface. That means it does not have a touch screen. It has a true touchpad and the touchpad is a one-to-one -one correlation with the touch screen. It is not a, a mouse pad. It is not a mouse. Where you touch on the pad, touches the same spot on the screen, allows you to control without having to reach over to the screen and play with the screen. Apple's wireless CarPlay and Android Auto is standard on the Acura RDX. Amazon Alexa Auto integration, USB audio interface, Bluetooth streaming audio, Bluetooth hands-free uh, link with wireless telephone interface, two front USB charging ports, and go to the safety equipment. This is the safety, safety equipment that's standard on the Acura RDX. Uh, they all come with Acura's ACE engineered body structure and that just a really safe body structure help keep you safe. Advanced front airbags with front side airbags, front knee airbags, side curtain airbags with rollover sensors, adaptive cruise control, forward collision warning, lane keep assist, collision my my <laughs> mitigation braking system, easy for me to say, road departure mitigation system. All those are standard and they've added now, um, and this was added a couple, uh, a little bit ago, but blind spot in the information with lane change assist. Now, one thing about Acura's blind spot information system, and, and I was not aware of this because I thought all manufacturers did the same thing. And that is when you're switching lanes, if you turn on your turn signal and there's a car there, it will warn you versus just the warning light. So it actually has an audible tone. You can turn that on and off, but it is a great feature rather than just the light. Rear cross traffic monitoring, traffic sign recognition, um, and then the latch system and vehicle stability system are standard on the Acura RDX. Last thing, spare tire is available on all all-wheel drive models except the A-spec model. Okay. Now we're going to get into what comes in the technology package, which is the second package up from the premium package on the RDX. And so starting out here, I thought it'd be helpful if you had the price difference, because really kind of what it comes down to is how much more is this going to cost me, right? It's not only the features, but how much more is it, right? So uh, we'll go through the breakdown of what you get for the difference. And the technology package adds $2,650. Again, that's subject to change, but as of right now, 2024, that's the gap. And usually if the price changes, 
the gap between the packages is pretty similar unless they add or subtract content from different packages. So what do you get in this technology package? Total MSRP, 48,950 with the technology package that does include the color up charge and the current destination charge of $1,300. So if you're comparing that to Acura.com, they're gonna show you one depending on the color you select which could be with or without the color up charge color. And I'll get into those in the last part of the video. So you know the differences between which colors have that charge and which ones don't. So most importantly, what do you get? Those wheels I have pointed out there, the 19 inch pewter gray metallic machine faced wheel comes part of that technology package. Now, really this is the same style wheel as on the premium package. It just has a different look to it. Uh, literally, it's the same style wheel. So they do a machine face on the on the front of the on the on the a face of the wheel. It's machine faced, I guess, and a dark uh, gray, pewter gray they call it in the in the in the inner side inside those spokes. Right, gives it a different look. And really, uh, from on the surface between the technology package and the premium package, this is the only thing from an appearance standpoint that you can tell the two apart. I can tell them apart by just looking at those wheels and I know whether that's a technology package or a premium package in the RDX. Exterior, everything else is identical. There is really only one other thing I can look at that I can tell the difference, but it's not something that you'll probably be able to point out uh, from that vehicle driving past. It's going to be something that uh, I'll point out here in a second. Sports seats with perforated Milano leather. So as I mentioned in the uh, previous, on the premium package, they come with the leather, leatherette. Now you get the Milano leather with the perforation and the contrasted stitching. So uh, gives it a nice look. It's a more premium look and feel seat, uh, nicer. Iconic drive with ambient LED lighting, cabin lighting. And uh, it's hard for me to show you during the day because it doesn't really stand out. But I do have, uh, I will show you that actually in the next, right there, there it is. Um, so you can see around that shifter uh, where the drive mode select and across the dash there, you can see that LED lighting lights up. And that is, uh, there's many different colors you can change that to, kind of a cool look. And you know, here we are, it's an Acura. So you do get some cool features like that. Is it something you need? Absolutely not. Is it cool? Yes, it is pretty cool. Wireless charger, and that was on the other screen there. Uh, I pulled up the picture because it's easier kind of to show than um, if we went out to the car, you'd probably still be able to see it, but um, it's down below there. So that is underneath that shifter. There is a spot, a nice charging pad where you can put your phone. Uh, second row USB charging ports is pretty self-explanatory, but those people in the, in the rear seats have a option to plug in a device. And then we upgrade the sound system to the ELS premium audio system with 12 speakers. It is quite a nice upgrade to move that ELS system, HD radio, song by voice. And then the big one part of the technology package is that built in 3D view navigation system. So that's built in. Again, that doesn't come with that premium package. That's what you get above and beyond. GPS link climate control uh, is a part of that package. And um, that's a little bit harder feature to explain, um, but that is where it uses the sun and the positioning of the vehicle to help cool or heat the car based on the vehicle's position does work rather well, but it is hard to explain and even harder probably to demonstrate on the vehicle. I just tried to do this um, with another vehicle, just trying to explain the climate control system to somebody. It is a little bit harder to show, but it is a neat feature and it does work well. Um, something that they put a lot of thought into. A lot of people probably uh, don't look that far into it. Parking sensors, front and rear. And I want to point that out because the parking sensors have not only an audible, but a visual uh, thing that comes up on the display screen to show you a where, where is it sensing that you're getting close to something or there's an object there and it's front and rear. Uh, I did not realize, I did not realize in my uh, long career in this business that when it said parking sensors that all automobiles didn't have them front and rear. I found out, out through a couple other brands that we have here across our campus that there are a lot of vehicles that just have parking sensors in the rear or possibly just in the front. Um, so I point that out here that they are on the front and rear of the vehicle. Um, 
to my surprise, I assume that parking sensors always came kind of all the way around the car, but there are a lot of cases where it will only be a half or half, um, which is somewhat helpful, but not completely helpful, right? Smart entry for the rear. And this is the only other thing that you could point out by looking at the car on the outside is if the door handle on the back actually has the uh, controls, controls, the mechanism built in where you can unlock and lock the car as well the front as the front doors small thing but it is nice if you have other people traveling and you with you whether that be kids or what having you go to open that rear door it actually unlocks all the doors which is convenient because that's what's happening there you want to be able to open all the doors versus having to go to the front door unlock the car and get in and unlock the rest of the doors or using the key fob just one of those convenience features nice to have Front and rear low speed braking control, and this works in conjunction with the parking sensors, but it has low speed braking control, meaning that if you're backing up to something and there's an object behind you and you're not applying the brake or enough, it, the vehicle will brake for you or assist in that. <clears throat> um, and that does work rather well. Um, it, it waits till there's an object back there. If you're not braking, it will warn you and then it will start to brake. So that hopefully that will help in the instances that you might not see something or that um, there's a pole or something and you're ready to back into it, this will help alleviate that. It's not foolproof, but it helps. Rear camera washer, this is a cool feature. If you live here in the Midwest or you live anywhere where there's salt on the roads in the wintertime or they put something out on the roads, that capes on those rear cameras and you can't see anything out of them after a day or so of driving around with that. Rear camera washer is awesome. It basically works off the, win the rear windshield washer, washer, wiper, washer for the rear window. Yeah, not, that's how I say that. Um, so when you wash the rear window with the wash, it sprays on that camera, cleans it off. It's awesome. It's a neat feature. Dumb little things, but they are re it's really nice. And acoustic side front glass. So it adds another level. So if you drove a premium package and then you drove a technology package, you said to yourself, hmm, it seems a touch quieter than the other one. It was, right? Because those, when you add acoustic side glass, which is basically thicker, more insulated glass, it's going to be quieter ride. A lot of that noise uh, that you hear in a car comes through the glass. And um, that's more expensive, so that's why you get it in the technology package. So that's everything that comes in the technology package. You say to yourself, is it worth $2,650? That's up to you. This, to all the side note, this is the most popular package that we sell in the Acura lineup, really across all the models. Um, RVX is no exception to that. Um, so this is the most popular package of what you get in it. This jump between the premium and the technology used to be a lot more, but they've added some of that safety equipment to the premium package. So now the gap isn't as large as it used to be to move to this. So. All right, next package that we have here is the A-Spec package. And the A-Spec package, uh, easily said or stated, is the one that's gonna, it's an appearance package. And it's the one that gives you the dark wheels and the blacked out trim. And, uh, and I point that out because that's people, a lot of people like that look today. And so they want to say, well, how do I get that? Well, do you get it through the A-Spec package? Now, a-Spec package is $3,000 above and beyond that technology package. Take all that equipment that we just went through on the premium package and technology package and add it to the A-Spec package. Everything's same, everything carries over in addition to these items here. Total MSRP on this one's $51,950. That includes the color upcharge, destination fee of $1,300. Again, subject to change. The difference between this and maybe what you look at at Acura.com is that color up charge, and there are colors that do not have that color up charge, and we'll talk about that at the very end of the video across the lineup for the RDX. But what do you get in that package? You get a 20-inch shark gray aluminum alloy wheel. So yes, you get a larger alloy wheel, it's one inch larger versus the 19s, and it's in that shark gray. They're now they're not black. Some people say, well, I like that black wheels. Well, they're not black, they're, they are shark gray. I kind of like the gray better than the black, just being honest, my personal preference. So I do like that they are shark gray. Um, gives them a kind of cool look versus just a, a black wheel. Um, they come with, with a 255, 45, 20, high performance all season tire. So it's, it's kind of a little bit wider aggressive tire as well as that 20 inch wheel. And then the A-Spec, um, badging is also 
uh, on the vehicle. So you get that, that A-spec signia that you see on the sides and the back of the vehicle. Exclusive uh, A-spec exhaust. So it still has the dual exhaust, but instead of the square exhaust that you get on the other packages, the A-specs come with a round exhaust outlet, which is kind of cool. It's like a big, bigger, larger, round exhaust outlet. And the A-spec package also comes standard with LED fog lights. So not only do you have the regular jewel light headlights that come standard on every other RDX, you add these LED fog lights. Now, truth be told, the LED fog lights are cool, but with these jewel light headlights, they don't provide a whole lot more light. They more are a cool looking factor. I mean, fog lights have a different purpose, and I'm sure they serve that purpose well but they don't add a ton more light uh, and you don't need them with these LED headlights. Leather wrapped flat bottom steering wheel. Have that highlight because that's uh, new that it's flat bottom steering wheel. Newer, I should say. Um, so the older A-Specs did not have that. In the, even in this earlier generations of the RDX when they had the A-Spec. Um, and it is a cool steering wheel with the contrasting stitching and that's one thing that we'll talk about as we move into the, to the uh, talk about the leather, but heated and ventilated seats. Um, so along with the heated seats, you get a ventilated seats, also with an auto feature, and the auto feature is really cool. They have that on all of them, and I didn't talk about that before, but that's standard on all the RDXs. And uh, just touch on that real quick, to, uh, because I love this feature. The auto heated seats, it seems like, oh, why do I need that? I can just press the button, turn it on and off. But the cool part is with that, is it will turn the seat on based on how you have the climate control set. So if you have the climate control set on high, it's gonna turn your seat on high. And as your seat heats up, and as the interior of the car heats up, it slowly turns down the seat or turns it off based on the temperature inside the vehicle. Where normally we turn on our heated seats and we're driving down the road and 12 and a half minutes later we go, why is my butt on fire? and you turn down that heated seat, right? You just wait for that moment where you're just burning up. With the auto heated seats, you don't have to do that. You leave it in auto setting, it turns it down, and you don't have to mess with it. It is one of the best features that no one talks about, and you might not even think much about it. I can push the button. It's, it's a great feature, let me tell you. You try it, and it's a great feature. When you have heated and ventilated seats, it's a really great feature because in the mornings, live here in the Midwest, in the mornings, it might be 45 degrees when I leave my house, and when I'm driving around in the afternoon, it could be 78 degrees. So I have heated seats in the morning, I have cooled seats in the afternoon, it works out fantastic. It is, and I don't have to do a single thing based on my climate control settings, it turns those on and off. All right, I'll get off my soapbox there. Sports seats with Milano leather seats with ultra suede trim. And so this seat is quite a bit different because it has this, the ultra suede insert in it. Um, and so it is quite a bit different look than the regular seats that you get in the technology package, even though they are both Milano leather. So it has contrasted stitching and piping, so that's gonna stand out depending on the color of the interior you get. Um, those are gonna be different. In other words, contrasting, meaning that it's gonna be different. So the stitching might be red in a particular one, or in the red interior, it might be black stitching. So it stands out and it's really nice because it runs across the dash around that steering wheel looks good has a y pattern dark brush aluminum trim in the interior so they has that aluminum trim in some of the models but this is just more of a aggressive pattern it just stands out a little bit more it's pretty sharp a spec insignia in the door um door lip door where you get in hey, you know what i mean uh, sport pedals has the metal sport pedals with the rubber on them which are pretty cool um, just added touch and a black headliner um, and so the black headliner love it hate it I think it looks good um, it does add a different feel to the inside of the car depending on what you like some people don't like they usually put lighter headliners in cars to make them feel bigger inside more open um, but the dark headliner just gives it a sportier look different appearance I like it especially if you have a darker interior um, matches it just matches better in my opinion but that's personal opinion. Um, and then the big, other big piece of equipment in this package is the ELS 3D premium audio system with 16 speakers. So this is an upgrade from the 12 speaker ELS system in the technology package. And it's a phenomenal system. This is the top of the line audio system in the RDX. 
Uh, this is really what separates it from the other, I would say the other, but it separates it uh, a lot from the other packages as far as audio systems or other packages. And so that's really what goes into that. So the A-Spec is really an appearance package for the most part, other than you do get those LED headlights and you get that upgraded audio system with the ventilated seat. So those are kind of the feature things other than the appearance. Plus all the trim on the outside and sev anywhere there would be chrome on the vehicle, it is now black. And I kind of glossed over that real quick at the beginning, but that's really, those are the big differences between the A-Spec trim and the technology package. So the next package up is the advanced package and the advanced package is pretty much the whole kitchen sink in the RDX. Uh, again, MSRP $5,400. That includes color upcharge and $1,300 destination fee. And this is a $2,150 more than the A-Spec package. So again, we're carrying all that stuff over that was in the A-Spec package as far as it features but the appearance goes back really similar to the technology package. Again, we go back to the chrome on the outside. Uh, instead of the, the aluminum trim inside, we now add, which you'll see here, we add some different trim, and we'll go back through that. So one, what's part of that $2,150? You get an active damper system. What does that mean? That means the suspension actually adjusts when you put it in the different modes. In other words, if I want comfort mode, the suspension, actually softens up and gives a better ride in comfort mode. When I change it to sport mode, the suspension actually stiffens up and I have a harsher ride, more stiff, more stability of a ride in the sport mode and vice versa, right? So it's an active damper system. That's a, a pretty big and expensive um, upgrade from the regular suspension system. Now. The suspension system on the regular RDX is fantastic. I love the way it's tuned. I love the way it's set up. But if you're looking maybe for more comfort or something maybe that you can change because you don't like one or the other, the, check out the advanced package because that's going to give you that ability to do that. And that comfort mode in the advanced package is probably the best riding RDX that is out there because it does actually soften that suspension more so than kind of the happy medium that you get in the technology package because we're trying to make, you know, fit everybody in that one, right? So what do you get? 19 inch machine faced wheels. So the same as the technology package, except they're a different style wheel and they are machine faced, different um, wheel. And wheels are very like um, subjective, you know, whether you like one or the other, I think it's a better looking wheel, but I'll leave that up to you to decide that's in the picture there. LED fog lights, again, the Advance package had those, so so does the, or the Advance, the A-Spec package had those LED fog lights, so you also get those in the Advance package. Rain sensing windshield wipers, part of that Advance package, that's a nice feature. If you're used to those, if you like those, plus or minus, they are nice, they do work well. And windshield wiper de-icer uh, is also part of that. And what that is, is that, is, is an element that heats under the windshield wipers. And again, if you live in one of these northern states or Midwest where you get snow or inclement weather, it's nice to have those windshield wipers, windshield wipers defrost, heat up um, when you go out to warm up your car. Um, nice little things, um, not necessarily necessary, but they're nice to have. Power folding outside mirrors. This is a big deal to some people. They love to have the power, the mirrors fold in and out by themselves. I'm not a fan, but it, they're there. The people like it, so it's part of that package. You do get that, and those power folding mirrors can be manually folded. Now there's a button you can push to fold them in, or when you turn off the car or lock the car, they can fold in for you if you have it set up that way. Surround view camera system. That's another big feature that people uh, like these days. Again, that shows both sides of the vehicle, plus a front camera view and the rear. That's personal preference. I prefer just a backup camera, but everybody uh, likes the idea of having a surround view camera. Practicality of a surround view camera, I don't know if as much, but that's personal preference, and you're paying $2,150, so give me that, give, give me all the stuff, right? Um, 3D, uh, Premium audio system, again, same thing that's in the A-Spec, carried over into this uh, advanced system. So you get the top audio system. 
get a 10 and a half inch heads up display. And so what that is, is it displays your speed on your windshield. So you get the hologram of the speed in your window. It's a nice feature. If you haven't seen one before, you really kind of have to experience it. Some people love it, some people hate it. I wouldn't say maybe people hate it, but some people just don't care one way or another. Some people have to have it. It is nice. Uh, you know, this speedometer and stuff isn't hard to see. I don't know that it helps really take your eyes off the road, but it, they're, they're nice to have. Um, once you have one, you get used to it. You can turn that on and off if you don't like it. Height adjustable, hands-free power tailgate. All the tailgates on the RDX are power and height adjustable. This is a hands-free, meaning it has the kick gate where you can kick underneath that rear um, tailgate and open it hands-free. And then we move to 16-way power front seats. So it includes other ones are 12. What this does is change the couple of positions. It, it changes the side bolsters on the seat where you can um, bring them in and out. And it also has a thigh extension. So the bottom of the seat can be extended um, for a little bit longer, uh, more um, cushion underneath your thigh, right? It still has those heated seats with the auto setting and the ventilated seats are all part of that advanced package. And then this is where it's different from the A-spec is you get that open pore wood trim. So you get authentic, real, not plastic, real wood trim in the advanced package. And that runs across the dash in the door trim and also on that center console, the door that actually covers the cup holders all have wood trim and it, again it's real wood it's not a uh, plastic looking wood it's actually the real stuff it's pretty nice heated steering wheel comes part of that package that's a new feature over the last you know seven eight years has become really popular and i'm a little asterisk on this heated steering wheel is nice don't get me wrong you should get it in the advanced package because this is really the top of the line package in the rdx and you should get that heated steering wheel with it um, but you can add the heated steering wheel in any trim of the RDX as a dealer installed option. So if you look at this list and you say, boy, that heated steering will be nice, but I don't need the rest of that stuff, you can do that. In other words, I can get a technology package and add that heated steering wheel. I can add that heated steering wheel to a premium package. I can add that heated steering wheel to an A-spec package. I don't have to buy all this to get that. So can't do it through uh, accurate, can't order the car that way, but we can add it as a dealer installed uh, option. And when we install it here, it carries the same warranty as what it would be with the vehicle. So it's one of those side asterisks to keep in mind. Key fob with remote engine start. So the remote engine start that comes only on the advanced package built in in the key fob. You can use the remote start through the AccuraLink app through the, on the other packages of the RDX, but it comes built into the key fob on the advanced package. You also get a 12 volt accessory outlet in the cargo area. In other words, you got things to plug in there for tailgating or what have you, might, whatever you might be doing out back there. You have, you have another 12 volt outlet. An acoustic rear side glass. Now, if you remember in the technology package, if you watched all this, uh, the technology package added the acoustic front windows. The advanced package adds acoustic rear glass again making it a little bit quieter as we move up through the lineup. And again, the advanced package is the top package in the RDX. However, Acura did add that one more package and that would be the advanced package. Uh, they've added the advanced with the A-spec package. And again, it is really everything that was in the advanced package with the A-spec look. So they take all that blackout trim. So everything that was chrome now moves to black. Uh, all the chrome pieces are black. Get the um, A spec heated, A spec wheel that's heated. Um, you get the 16 way power seats that are in the advanced package, um, but with that ultra suede insert and the contrasting stitching, we're going to get darker brushed aluminum trim inside and we get a little bit st different style wheel. So this is a 20 inch wheel. It's still the shark gray, just a different style. Uh, again, I, this goes back to personal preference. It is a nice looking wheel. Is it better than the regular A-spec? 
I don't know, but it should be different because this car has everything, right? This is the advanced A spec. It has it all, right? Um, and then we also get uh, LED puddle lights, and puddle lights are lights that come on at night when you're walking, uh, when you unlock your car, so you can see um, the ground around the car. So. A spec advanced package adds another two thousand dollars above and beyond the advanced package RDX for a total MSRP of fifty six one hundred. That includes the color six hundred dollar color upcharge and the thirteen hundred dollar destination fee. Okay, so that wraps up all the different packages. Again, none of these options can be bought separately. You can't build these vehicles. Uh, piece them together how you want. They only come in these diff five different packages with the RDX and that's how Acura does all their vehicles. Um, but there are a couple of those free flow options as I mentioned in the last one with the heated steering wheel that you can add as a dealer installed uh, item to any of the RDXs as well as remote engine start. And that's another one that I uh, talked about in the advanced package, but you can add the remote engine start to any package in the RDX lineup. You do not have to get the advanced package to get remote engine start. That makes sense. So you can save yourself thousands of dollars if those are the only things you're looking for and you want to add them. So that wraps up all the packages. I am going to jump into the real quick. I'm just going to jump into the colors. So we talked about most colors. Uh, we talked about the $600 color upcharge. Most colors actually have that upcharge because they are more expensive paint. Um, so down through this list, it shows all the colors that have the color upcharge and it shows that these prices are all current as of 429 I believe it is yeah 429 so the end of April of 2024 they probably won't change anymore for 24 but that's what they're current up to so the two colors that do not have the color upcharge are the lunar silver metallic and the fathom blue so other than that all the colors have the color upcharge. And I point that out because a lot of times when we're figuring this out or we're shopping them, we're not always looking at the same color and there might be a price difference. We're not sure why that is why. Again, $600 isn't terrible. Some manufacturers charge a lot more for pearl paint, um, uh, but Acura has decided just to keep it at the standard $600 across the, the lineup. All right, future Justin here. Hey, wanted to point out one thing real quick on the interior. Yes, this interior, which is the Espresso interior, is only available on two trims, and it's a popular interior choice right now on the RDX and actually in a lot of our cars, but it's only available on the technology package and the advanced package. You cannot get this on a premium package, either the entry-level RDX or on the A-Spec models. They do not offer this interior. So the Espresso, chocolate, brown, whatever you want to call it, Acura calls it Espresso, is only available on those two trims. Back to the show. So those are all the packages that come with the 2024 RDX. Hopefully that was helpful for you to kind of decide what I do like, what you don't like. The real test is coming and see the vehicle, see what it's all about, make sure it's a good fit for you. Again, this is Justin from All Things Acura. Thanks for watching.